Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode on the High Landing Server. So we're gonna continue with Botania today. Uh, in the last, oops, in the last episode, uh, we made this runic altar, and I've actually been using that for a little bit off camera. But I'll show you how it works. So with that, you can make runes. So I have a few runes here, and we're gonna use a couple of them today. Uh, but before we go into that, these flowers here consume coal, right? And you have to throw coal to them and then they eat the coal. There we go. And then you have to wait until they can eat more coal. So if you put coal down here now, uh, I guess there could be a risk of it despawning. Well, if I put more than one, I keep have, I have to keep coming back and, and feeding them coal and that's not so great. So uh, we're gonna try to automate that a bit. And I think that there is something that we can craft here. Let's see, let's remove these and let's, oops, there we go. And then let's make some of these into planks. So I think we'll need five, something like that. Uh, if we do that, yeah, okay, so we needed seven. <laughs> then that makes an open crate. And what this will do is that, oh, we need something else. What that will do is it will work like a dispenser or dropper uh, and it will drop things out of it. <laughs> let's uh, let's get some iron here. So we want to make we want to make a hopper. Okay, so let's make a chest. It's easier to do it do it here than to than to make a chest in there and then make a thing and then and then make it work. Let's see. Okay, so let's make a hopper and. We can put the, no, let's actually keep the iron on us because we might need it. Okay, so let's come back out here. Now, if we, let's see, let's grab some dirt. Dirt, 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 my inventory is a mess. Uh, and let's place this thing maybe right here, I think will be good. Yeah, so let's place that there. Now this, you can't right click it. So there's no inventory, so you have to use a hopper. So we're gonna place the hopper here on the back, I think. And then we can put coal in there to feed it and it will drop it straight down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a pressure plate right here so that the items drop onto the pressure plate. Pleasure plate. <laughs> and uh, let's see here, we need to make a half slab so let's go ahead and do that i think i know how this works so let's see so let's do that we've got six half slabs we'll need the um the redstone here so let's place that there and then we want the half slab let's see we want oops we want the half slab here i think let's say hi to soap um and then we'll put redstone here and redstone here Okay, I think that's how it works. Now, if we put in coal here, then it should drop the coal down. That flower will consume it. And then, oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't do that though. Why is it doing that? Is it not locking the hopper? I guess one will always be here. So it will only drop one at a time, but there will be one down on the pressure plate. But that's fine, at least it will continuously drop uh, coal down. So we can go and grab some more, some more coal. Let's see here, coal. I don't know how it works with, uh, with coal blocks. Um, we could try put those in as well. It might give us more mana than just dropping. Oops, I can't do that. I have to put them in here, but that's cool. So now uh, we've got that set up. But I don't think that this gives us a ton of mana. So there are other flowers that will work better, I think. And um, if we look in the uh, in the Lexica Botania here, there is uh, this one, Thermalily. Thermal <laughs> Thermal uh, so that is one that will generate mana from, um, from, from lava, lava. And we can make lava automatically with blood magic. So that's pretty cool. So we might want to do this one. Uh, the amount of mana the thermal lily produces during its active period is extremely high, serving as a very functional flower for when a quick boost is needed. During the cooldown period, if the flower were to absorb 
any lava, it instead consumes it, generating no mana and having to wait five minutes from there to start over. So that's kind of complicated. <laughs> While placing lava in the world is definitely possible via dispensers, automatically gathering it and carrying it from the nether or deep underground is another story entirely. As such, the Thermal Lily is classified as a semi-automatic automobile. <laughs> I can't say that word. I'm sorry. Flower. Uh, <laughs> But it, with, with blood magic, we can create lava. So that's not a problem. Uh, let's actually have a look at the other flowers here. So we got the Rosa Arcana. Experience points are a form of magic of sorts. So that takes experience points. Um, and then we have slimes, slime chunks, they call it. The Narslimus is a flower that has the ability to tap into that energy. If placed down near a slime created by that power. Okay, so that's not something that we really want to do. Uh, and then we had this one, which we read about, which takes leaves. Um, we have this one. I think I want to make this one and try it out. We might not automate it with lava in this episode. We'll see, but we'll definitely test it. So to make this one, we need two orange petals and one red. And then we need a rune of fire and a rune of earth. Now, I already have these things here, but if we look at them, bloop, uh, you make them in the runic altar and you need mana powder, which you can get from sugar by placing that into your mana pool. Uh, and mana steel, which is an iron ingot that you place into the mana pool. Obviously, you need enough mana for them to um, to transform. Uh, and then nether brick gunpowder and nether wart. And you just place them on the runic altar. Uh, you direct your this thing mana spreader towards the altar, and it will create it for you. Uh, we'll probably do some runes later on. Now, let's see here. Well, actually, we're gonna we're gonna make this thing. Wait. Blip, wait, let's uh, let's go to back here. This one is in the um, petal apothecary. So rune of fire, rune of earth, and then two orange and one red. So rune of fire and rune of earth. And then it was two orange and one red, I think. Let's get an orange and a red out. So we have an orange and a red we don't actually have that many red flowers here let's uh put some things into here because my inventory is crazy um let's put that in there too we'll need the seeds so let's keep that on us and let's just check here so it was two orange and one red yes two orange and one red so we'll need one of these put it there and two orange Let's put that here, and then we'll need our um, our bucket because we need water inside of the petal apothecary thing. So, okay, so let's do that. Let's place that in there, and then we'll need, oh my goodness, was it two orange and one red or one orange and two red? I need to not mess this up. Two orange and one red, okay. Two orange, one red. Okay, so two orange, drop it, two orange, one red, and then that, and that, and then that. There we go. Okay, so we have this, oops, thermal lily. Okay, now if we place that, let's place it right here, and let's just see how this works. So if we take this and do lava, and if we place the lava in here, will that consume it? Or do we need to place it right next to the flower? Because I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna burn everything. Let's, uh, let's remove that again and let's, let's break this flower and let's place it again. Okay, now is this flower connected to, yes it is. Okay, so what if we place the lava here? Oh, it did, it, it ate it. Okay, so I think it takes a while for this to be able to eat more, but it's uh, it's supposedly making quite a lot of mana, right? Unknown status. Well, that's fine. Can you see how much mana is in here? 
I'm not actually sure. If we shift here, we have function mode and bind mode. So function mode, does this tell us? Well, it's, it's showing that we have a tiny little bit out of, but it doesn't actually tell us how much we have. This, I'm wondering, because I found this in a, um, in a dungeon, and uh, it gives you a lot of mana when you put it into a pool, but I don't know how much. Uh, I wouldn't think it fills the whole thing up, but I have no clue. But there is one thing that I want to uh, make here, and that is, let's see, if we go all the way back here, we wanna make the mana tablet. Is that in here? So we have, oh, here it says about the black lotus. Um, it's an elusive flower by the name of Black Lotus is known to exist. However, it does not grow or reproduce. Where they can be found or come from is not known. Well, it's just. <laughs> it is known, however, that it contains a strong amount of concentrated mana that can be released by putting it inside a mana pool that already has mana in it. Just tossing it in will do. We're not going to do that right now. Um, so, mana tablet. Maybe we can just search for it here. And we'll find it. And J-E-I is still being weird. Mana. Ta oh, my goodness. Okay, come on. Okay. Mana tablet. Okay. So we have mana tablets. What is this? Mana tablet creative. All right. So this. Uh, so we need a mana pearl and living rock. We can definitely do that. So we need an ender pearl. Did I put any of the ender pearls in here? No, I did not. Okay, so let's go and grab. Let's go and grab an Ender Pearl from here. Let's see, Ender Pearl. Okay, let's grab one of those. And let's go back up. And let's go over here. Okay, and then if we drop this in here, like that, then we'll get a Mana Pearl, and then we'll get the uh, the Living Rock. And we have my, <laughs> I have my crafting table out here. Uh, so we wanted to make this bloop bloop. Okay, now We're not gonna start using this just yet I guess because this is something that you keep in your inventory so that when you have items that uses mana You need to fill this up by placing it in a mana pool and then um, It will suck the mana into it and then you can uh, have mana with you wherever you go So that's pretty cool, but we're not gonna use it right now, but it's a good thing to have now I wonder if this can take more Lava yet. I'm a little bit worried about placing the lava down because I'm worried that um, that the flower is going to get destroyed. If I place this here now, no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Okay, no. So it's not, it's not, it's not done yet. Um, it's still smoking. So I guess. I guess that explains that. <laughs> that is a dangerous flower. But basically there is in uh, blood magic, there is a, r a ritual that you can make that creates lava. Uh, so we could place that underneath here somewhere or wherever we're gonna put this set up. Um, and it will keep uh, making lava. I don't know how to set that up though since the uh, flower doesn't continuously eat the lava, but I think it will create a lava source and then we can maybe have some blocks here. I wonder, we should test that. We should put down, not wood, <laughs> probably stone. I'll get some cobblestone and see if uh, it will still take the lava even though we have blocks around it. That would be a good thing to test. So let's see, let's get some cobble, cobblestone here and let's do that. And then I want to look at um, one thing. Let's see. So let's place cobble like that. And let's see if it will eat the eat the lava. I guess we can place it down. Maybe not. I don't know because uh, things might start catching on fire. So let's not do that. Actually, let's just place it down in a little while. <laughs> um, how much mana do we have in here now? Just a tiny bit. Okay, so this is just giving us a tiny bit. We can make more of these flowers though. So that's not a problem. Um, right, so what did I want to look at? I wanted to look in this book here. And let's see, so we have generating flora, functional flora, uh, flower shrinking. Let's see, 
This, I don't know what all of this does. What is this? The slow growth of crops is always a problem to feed the masses. The agricarnation is a flower that turns manna into a type of natural fertilizer, causing nearby plant life to grow at a faster rate. Okay, we can already do that with blood magic quite easily. Um, I just want to look at this quickly because I don't actually know uh, what this mod can do really. The daffodil works as a fan of sorts. It pushes at the cost of mana, of a small amount of mana. Any items in front of it. Okay, so there's all these different things that you can do. What I'm looking for though is a tool. So mystical items. Floral obedience stick. What is that? Nobody knows why, but attaching some mana steel to living wood twigs creates a stick type device that can make nearby flowers all bind towards a single focus point. Okay, uh, we have mana steel equipment. Horn of the wild. What is that? Clearing out tall grass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It clears out tall grass. That's pretty cool. Um, what I'm looking for though is something different. Is it this one? Rod of the Shifting Crust is a magical device with the ability to swap blocks, yes, in the world at a very fast speed. In order to achieve this, one must first select a block to swap with. This is done by shift right clicking that block in the world. After this block is selected, left clicking any other block in the world will swap it for that block, assuming it's present in the user's inventory. Right clicking on a block in the world will start a higher transformation, which will swap all highlighted blocks into the one selected. This is very cool. Um, this, I had the, um, I was playing around with, what is that called? Let's see here. Let's see, um, I was playing around with the swapping wand, but it takes XP and it just drained my XP very, very quickly. This will use mana instead, so maybe we can use this. For example, having a rod of the lands in one's inventory provides the rod of the shifting crust with an endless supply of dirt. Assuming the mana cost for the rod of the lands dirt can duration is fulfilled. Okay, uh, so to make this, we need a rune of sloth, two twigs and two stones. So how do we make the rune of sloth you need two mana diamonds rune of air and rune of autumn okay how many diamonds do i have i am actually not sure that i have a lot of diamonds right now so let's uh let's check on that i have a few okay so you need two right one thing that we can do one two and then one two three four so we have six here um, I have been creating quite a lot of these different magical crops uh, with the mystical agriculture. And if we look here, if we want to grow some diamonds, because I am running low. Um, let's see. Diamond seeds. Let's see. Diamond. Uh, is there diamond seeds here? Yes. So we need the red ones. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know how much of this stuff we have right now. Let's grab some more. Um, so we'll need to, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need some more stuff. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get all the things that I need for this and I will be right back. Okay, so I don't have, <laughs> I don't have all the things, but I have some of the things, right? So to make the crafting seeds, you uh, just surround seeds with pros prosperity shards. Uh, and then we need to surround those by the green uh, essence here and we'll get the tier one. Now we need a much higher tier. So let's uh, place all of these here and make the green ones. And then let's do the same thing with these because we don't actually need the inferior ones. There we go. And then we'll get green ones like that and we'll get these seeds and make the tier two. And then we'll get, let's see, let's get this and make, bloop, uh, and make the orange ones. Now I already had a lot of that, but it doesn't matter. So let's make the orange ones. And after that, I think it's the blue ones. I already have that. So let's just make it. And then after that, it is the red ones. So we can make the red seeds. And with that, let's see. Ah, what am I doing here? So four of those. Why did my chest go completely empty? That is very strange. 
and then diamonds oops nope 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 i have some lag i i'm not really sure why but it might be on my on my end i'm not sure there we go okay so let's go and plant these and i can actually show you um that i have planted a lot of these different crops so we have let's see uh we have quartz we have oh i already have diamonds I don't even remember doing that. We have coal. I have quite a lot of coal seeds uh, because coal is handy to have. So we have cobalt. Um, I actually made, if you hadn't seen that yet, because I don't think I've shown it off, I made a cobalt pickaxe here. Uh, so we have that. I have a lot of, of these different ones. There's beans. <laughs> uh, what else do I have? Uh, you can't find all the different ones now. Let's see. Experience seeds, Enderman, I think I showed you those. Uh, I have some over over here, Cobalt, Experience, Creeper seeds, more Cobalt, more Cobalt. Yeah, I have, I have, I have some, a few different ones. Um, okay, so we wanted to, which one did we want to make? Oops, we wanted to make this. We need two mana infused diamonds. So let's go and place those in here. Uh, one and two. That, okay, that, that threw it way off. <laughs> okay, so let's throw it down there. Oh, there's not enough mana, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Um, can you see? No, it's supposed to be. There we go, okay. now. Enough, okay. So then we needed the um, Rune of Autumn and the Rune of Air. Now I think I have a Rune of Air in here. Rune of Air, yes, so we have a Rune of Air. We need a Rune of Autumn. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and make that then. How do we make the Rune of Autumn? Oh, this is, <laughs> this is complicated. So, we need a rune of air and a rune of fire, three oak leaves, and a spider eye. Okay, so rune of fire, rune of air. So, if we grab our wand of the forest and we do bind mode, we should do that to that. Okay. Now, if we place the... Where are my things? This one, and this one, and this one and three of these so one two three and then that that and that okay now that's gonna take a while you can see the little green let's see if i can show you this here it needs to go all the way around um and fill up with green and then it's ready and then i think you needed a living rock to finish that off so We'll wait for that to complete, and then I will be right back. Actually, while this is completing, it's it's taking a while, uh, let's try this out again. So now that I have um, the cobblestone around it, let's see if it works. So we place, oh yeah, it does, okay. So we could, we could place the, uh, the, um, the thing from Blood Magic that will create lava. And we could have these flowers here. I guess we could have them maybe on all four sides of this, taking the lava. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's see. I think this is done because it's doing its lightning thing. So, yes, yeah, so we click it with the, uh, the living rock and then we click it with the wand of the forest. And we got, uh, what? <laughs> So we have the rune of autumn, but we got our other runes back. I didn't know you got them back, but okay. Um, right, so let's see here now. So the thing that we wanted to make now was the rune of the sloth, a rune of sloth. So we need autumn, air, and two mana diamonds. So autumn, and then we needed one air, boop. And then we needed two mana diamonds. Okay, now that's gonna take a while. Okay, it's almost there. Should be done any second now. Uh, and then all we need is, oh, it's done, it's done. So let's do that and let's do that. And then, oh, so we do always, do we always get them back? Because that's very handy. 
I didn't realize that would happen. Okay, so let's put these in here. And then I think we needed, let's see here. So to make this, we needed two stone and two living twigs. Let's close the door there so no creepers or anything will come in and murder our faces. Uh, so two living twigs, two stone, and the, where did it go? I can't see it now. There it is. Uh, rune of, or rune of, rune of sloth. Okay, so we have this now. Now I am guessing that you will need mana. So we have some wood on us here. Let's see if we can do this. So if we place down this wood right here and we shift click on this and then we want it, oh God, <laughs> maybe that's not the best idea. Uh, let's do, let's do planks instead because we don't want to, let's see here. So like that and then can we, no, 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 wait, like that. Rod of shifting oak wood planks. Yeah, I think it's because we don't have any mana. Let's see here if we, so if we swap this around, this to this, so that we have mana, let's put our mana tablet in here, like that. It should drain the mana into the tablet, as I understand it. Let's, uh, let's go and sleep here real quick. So we don't have any mob spawning. Um, there is a ritual from Blood Magic which, which keeps mobs from spawning. I kind of want to test that out. We don't have time for it in this episode, but I want to see how that works. It, it, I think it works in a 60 by 60 by 60 or something like that area. Um, but I obviously don't want it to stop mobs from spawning on my cursed earth down there because that wouldn't be good. This hasn't... This hasn't done anything. Let me see. While using mana spreaders to transport mana around is all well and good, there is also a way of doing it in a different manner. The mana tablet is a portable object which can carry mana on itself. Not only that, but other items can pull from it. That's, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, tossing one of these on top of a mana pool will allow to transport of mana between one and another. Shift right clicking the mana pool with the wand of the forest will change. Oh yeah, yeah, we need to change which way the mana flows. So this flows in the wrong way right now. The, I think we need function mode. There we go. Okay, now we can, now we can throw it in there and it should fill up, right? I can't tell. Yes. Okay. So we pick that up. It has a tiny little bit of mana. Now let's see if we can, let's see if we can do this. So did it, it doesn't say anything now. I don't know. There we go. See, it changed it. Yeah. So it works. Uh, so we obviously need a lot more mana to do this, but at least it doesn't drain XP because I don't have an XP farm right now. I do have a way of making mana though. So we're going to try and, and use that. It's a quite, quite a handy, handy, handy dandy tool. Handy dandy. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's see, we can place some more lava in here. So I think that I have been recording for quite a long time and I don't know how much time we've got left in the episode. So I'm actually, I'm going to check real quick how much time we have left and then maybe we'll have time to do something else, but maybe we'll have to end off the episode here.